My name is uh, Philip Meniken. I'm the Business Development Director of uh, Theon Sensors. Theon Sensors is a world leader in night vision and uh, thermal equipment uh, with a focus on manned portable equipment, so anything that the soldier uh, carries with him, whether it's uh, uh, goggles or uh, weapon uh, uh, optics uh, for night vision and uh, thermal uh, applications. The first product line I'd like to talk about are our night vision uh, goggles, our night vision binoculars which you can see here on display um, with a special focus on uh, the Micron which is the 60mm uh, night vision binocular with which we have won uh, a very large contract to equip the, the German and the Belgian armed forces uh, a contract that was received through the OCAR uh, which um, will uh, or may reach up to 30,000 systems in the coming years so this is really the largest uh, tender that has ever been uh, taken place in Europe in the in the past years, uh, which we're very proud to have won, and we're looking forward, of course, to cooperate with the German and the Belgian armed forces on this contract. The Micron um, has a, a very low weight um, and very uh, small dimensions compared to regular night vision goggles, uh, but this uh, does not come with necessarily with a reduction in performance. So we have lightweight, we have high performance, and obviously uh, we have a very competitive offer that we were able to, uh, to win this competition with. So here I would like to uh, present our new range of uh, thermal sites, the Thermes Mark II, which uses uh, a new uh, detector, small detector, with which we were able to reduce the size of the system and thus the weight uh, by still keeping a very, very high performance, of course. So we have here our short range uh, Thermes Mark Zero, which you can see is very, very small, very light. It's a system that has been developed to be multi-purpose, to be uh, weapon mounted, of course, to be used as a clip-on, as a standalone site, but as well as a handheld uh, thermal observation site. Then we have here the, uh, the bigger uh, system, which is uh, the uh, long range uh, version, which uh, again uses the new detector and the new uh, electronics design uh, and is a system that is used for sniper applications. So uh, Theon sensors, uh, as I said, we're a world leader for handheld equipment, manned portable equipment, but we do also have a series of platform-based equipment. The platform-based equipment uh, portfolio is a portfolio we're really focusing on uh, at the moment, which we're trying to enlarge, uh, getting new systems on the market. Uh, when I talk about platform-based systems. These are systems that can be used on vehicles, any type of vehicles, on naval application and even airborne application. As an example, we have here um, a fused uh, driver viewer. It's a new product of ours which combines uh, both a, a day and night vision channel and as well as a thermal channel. So this is one of the products we're focusing on. We have as well other cameras which are used on armored vehicles uh, and we do have as well customized uh, thermal uh, equipment which we use for example as you can see here on the Aimpoint fire control station for which we, we supply a, a thermal uh, clip-on. Our business has been for many many years very much export oriented uh, where we have sold in more than 56 countries around the world. Here at this exhibition which uh, is the first exhibition in Greece uh, for, for a long time we are very excited of course to be here and very proud to be exhibiting in our home country um, we do have, of course, expectations to equip the Greek armed forces with our equipment and we will use this exhibition to present, of course, all our product portfolio to the, uh, the end users uh, here in Greece. My name is Piero Selinas. I'm an International Business Development Manager for the company Skitalis. Skitalis is a software development and systems integration company uh, serving the customers and users both domestically and internationally for 27 years in the specialized fields of network-centric operations, data interoperability, interoperability, tactical data links and command and control systems. First of all, let me say that we are very proud and also very happy to be exhibiting in the DEFEA. In the DEFEA exhibition in Athens, we are exhibiting our mission information and management suite, which is uh, basically fully configurable, fully expandable, and we have implementations for various platforms. One of them is the MIMS Airborne, which is a mission system for maritime patrol aircrafts, enabling a variety of operations, ranging from maritime surveillance to anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare. 
uh, our system fully integrates all the sensors which are on board, also integrates the tactical uh, picture, the, the, the common operational picture coming from tactical data links and enables the user to have a common operational picture, situational awareness from the battlefield. Another implementation, particularly for the naval environment, is the MIMS Naval, which basically gives tactical navigation capabilities into fast attack crafts, special operations crafts, um, and uh, being able to support, again, a variety of information on the sea. Uh, a latest addition to the MIMS product of families is the MIMS Ranger, for which we are getting a lot of attention, both from the international but also from the domestic markets. It's a situational awareness platform, completely integrated with advanced communication systems and top-of-the-range sensors to be able to assist the soldier who is operating in a hostile environment to understand the environment, where the friendly forces are, where the dangers lie, and enable um, uh, or, or assist, if you wish, um, the, the execution of forces in a very demanding environment. Recently, we are receiving a lot of attention, both from the international but also from the domestic markets, on the new addition uh, in the MIMS product family, which is called the MIMS Ranger. This is a situational awareness platform, completely degraded, uh, specifically designed for the dismounted soldiers and the special operation forces. Basically, we are leveraging technologies from handheld devices, uh, embodying our own design and implementation software, situational awareness software, with cutting-edge communication means and highly advanced sensors in order to bring a common operational pictures in the hands of the soldiers when they're operating in hostile environments. Basically, this, uh, in this way, we're enhancing both the mobility and the survivability of the soldier, giving more success in joint operations and operations in very demanding environments. Hello, welcome to EFA Group booth. I'm Nikos Kaloyanis, I am the Director of Operations of the group. Actually, EFA Group uh, is the, the largest defense entity in Greece. Uh, it is composed by uh, companies that are focused mainly on the defense market and uh, uh, it is composed of uh, Theon Sensors, Skitalis, uh, EFA Venture, which is the central pillar of the group, and uh, a number of acquisitions that we have done and investments in order to bring us new technology in our group, such as you can drone, Ether, Defender, and uh, Greek Aviation. So here we have uh, the ISR drone company, you can drone, which is part of our group, and we can see here all the drones or some part of the drones of the ISR drones that are dedicated to specific missions. Here we have missions for uh, naval operations. You can have also the system with uh, intelligent cameras and uh, sensors uh, with tactical communications and ground station, which is a, a ready-to-fly system coming from operational in the field. Here we have additional drones for high speed and for special operations. Here is uh, Ether uh, Aeronautics, which is the company that is specialized in target drones. Here we have a high velocity drone that can reach up to 700 uh, kilometers per hour and here's a slow moving. These drones are totally built in Greece, designed and built in Greece uh, in a vertical way, meaning that also the, the, the engines are here, are made here in Greece. And here it is the, the, the part of uh, the industrial part of EFA Ventures. Uh, we are talking about uh, a, a, a suit, a, a tactical suit that uh, is uh, uh, designed to upgrade legacy vehicles uh, or modern vehicles into a tactical um, operational vehicles. Uh, mainly we target the special operation forces, but uh, this system can be uh, installed into various uh, other types of vehicles. We are talking about sensors, processing units and tactical communications built all together through uh, software and integration that we do here in uh, EFA.